Hey guys, sometimes it might be important to render something other than HTML inside of your web page. For example, here on GitHub, you can see that there is some markdown rendered, which is um, contained in the readme.md. So let's take a look at how you could render markdown in your applications. So to get started, let's head right into VS Code where I've already prepared a little React app right here. And as always, we can just remove the default stuff, except for um, the use state, because we're gonna use that at a later point in time. And for now, we are just going to add a little diff in which we're going to add our markdown that we want to process soon. So in this case, we just want to emphasize something. So emphasis would be a good starting point. And if we now look at our results, you can see it says emphasis right here. So now React, of course, can't do this by itself already because that's not the point of React. But what we can do is we can open a new terminal and run npm install react minus markdown and now it should install the dependency we need to actually get this stuff working so we found zero vulnerabilities that's good now we can import react markdown and actually just replace this div with the react markdown um, element you can import from the module and now if we head back to our app you can see that the emph this part is already working so this would be plenty to just render a default app with some really simple markdown like you could do emphasis or let's just make this a bit more complicated. Const MD, so our markdown is going to be a formatted string in JavaScript. And we're just going to say, okay, it contains this emphasis bit and it also contains a big heading and like a really small heading. Now we can just, as in every normal component, add this as a child. Go back to the browser and as you can see, all of this was rendered just fine. Also, just a little reminder, this is actually safe rendering. It's not like the dangerously set in HTML. This is actually like going through the markdown and creating elements on the fly. So you can use this actually, this is safe, which is amazing. But if you now try to do something more advanced, then uh, you might get in trouble. Like if you wanted to have a link in there, like HTTPS colon, slash slash google.com. That link is just plain text right now. So there are some things that React Markdown can't do by itself. But there's one more thing we're gonna do before we get into that, which is actually using the React part of this because right now we're basically just using a Markdown renderer and not much React. But what if we now said, okay, we're gonna add a button and that button is gonna have an on-click event. And that on click event is going to say set count. So the state we just uh, left up there to count plus one. And then because this is a formatted string, we can actually just put variables in there, like count, for example, and also make that relatively small at least. Now, if we just head back to our application, okay, we can see that I did a mistake right here because I forgot to close the button tag, but that's an easy fix. And now we can see the zero here. And if I press the button, it actually auto updates and yeah, most stuff doesn't even need to be re-rendered re for that, which is amazing. But now let's get to fixing this little link right here because of course it's a fix. It's just not uh, React Markdown itself, but React Markdown actually supports plugins. So what we can do is we can do the next NPM install if we want more features, which would be NPM install remark GFM. This will basically give us um, more of the default markdown features like links, for example. And the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna just import remark GFM from remark GFM. And then we can just say, okay, inside of our markdown, uh, React markdown component, we're gonna say remark plugins equals an array. And that array is just gonna contain remark GFM for now. And now if we just look at our page again, you can see that Remark GFM did its thing, and now we've got a working link here, which we can open in a new tab to get to Google. But that's of course not everything a Remark GFM could do. You could of course also do some more advanced stuff, like for example, this strike through thingy, where you can actually let a line run through your uh, words, because that would normally also not work with normal React Markdown, or something really nice. If you wanted to, uh, for example, have a to-do list, that is maintained in this markdown for whatever reason, then you could do that as well using remark GFM. 
But as you can see, it might be better to remove the normal CSS styling and align it to the left, which we're gonna do really quickly right here. So we're just gonna remove everything from the styling and now it looks a lot better already. Now let's just go into the app again. So dot app heading of, I don't know, one RAM, just so it's formatted a bit nicer and not as far to the left. And also what you could do would be um, things like styling the text or basically doing whatever you want. This is converted to real HTML elements. So there are basically no borders you would need to go through to style this in any way you like, like adding a dark mode or whatever. So I hope this is helpful for you because I really think that it can be quite useful to use something like Markdown because you might want your user to be able to input stuff. And yeah, that's an easy way to do it securely. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, then please leave a like and tell me what you're gonna do with this. And also have a good day.